Good morning or afternoon or evening as the case may be and welcome to 8th grade pre-algebra. This is a quick overview of the class and the ideas and the syllabus and the topics that we're going to cover during the year. So I hope you're ready to do some math. For those of you who are new to the school or perhaps just remembering uh, or just forgetting after summer I guess I should say, uh, there are a number of ways to get information about the class and about the school. The best way to start off something is to be dashboard. You all should have this as part of your bookmarks. might look a little different from mine, but you'll still be able to get to the same places. And the portal is a super place to start. When you log into the portal, you'll be able to go to your classes. And one of your classes should be pre-algebra block C. Your portal page might look a little bit different from this, but it should have the same general idea, including this resources box over here to the side. Okay? You should check out that resources where you'll see general class resources and links. Inside is the class sobel and a piece of electronic graph paper, which we'll be using in your very first assignment. But we're checking out the syllabus today, so that is where you'll find this description of what it is that we do during the class, what is covered, what the schedule is, what the whole focus of this class is. So let's take a look very quickly at what it is that we'll be learning this year. Obviously, my name is Dave Stutz. You can call me Mr. Stutz. My email address is stutzd at asbindia.org. That's the best way to get a hold of me is through an email. Just send me a message whenever there's a question. Uh, in grade 8, pre algebra we use the College Prep Mathematics program, the same one that was used in 7th and 8th, 6th uh, and 7th grade for those of you here at ASB. It includes a spiraling effect, which means we're going to hit the same topics and hit them hard time and time again during the course of the year. We're going to be reviewing things that we've covered previous years and adding on to them. At the completion of this course, you'll have the skills that are necessary to go on to a full year Algebra 1 class, which most of you will do next year. The idea of this class is to enhance your foundational mathematics skill and encourage growth in more abstract, critical use of these skills. That means we're going to be making sure that you know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, use bed mass and parentheses and use variables. That's that abstract, critical part of this, uh, critical use of the skills using variables and things that are not quite as concrete. We're going to be trying to translate information from different representations. We're going to take tables and turn them into equations. We're going to take equations and turn them into graphs. We're going to take graphs and put them back into data tables and equations. We're going to be translating all the time from different forms of representations. We're going to do a lot of pattern recognition and interpretation and a lot of translating from English into the language of mathematics. There's a lot of cooperative work. The idea is that a rising tide lifts all boats. If, if everybody is working hard and working together, everybody will improve in math. Obviously, you're going to be tested on your individual growth, but the idea is by working with others, you can help them and they can help you. During the course of the class, we'll be looking at problem solving, variables, graphs, different ways of re representing things. Multiplication, systems of equations, linear relationships, which means lines, and inequalities where things are not equal to one another. You'll have a CPM textbook, and that will be what we're using in class. Also in class, you'll need to have pencils and erasers. Every day you need to have your pencil. Pens are not necessary. Math class involves, from time to time, mistakes being made, and so... The idea is we have something that you can erase. You should also always have with you a folder that has notebook and paper, uh, a folder or a notebook that has paper. Graph paper is preferred but not required. And of course, there are many, many, many stores all over Mumbai that will sell that to you. So you should make sure that you have that before you come to the first class. You'll also need your battery, uh, your batteries. Of course, you need your batteries, but your computer as part of those batteries. You'll need to have that with you charged every day. We'll be doing a lot of dyno. We'll be doing things online and offline. So you got to have that computer with you. As far as the textbooks are concerned, you will have a textbook, but the class will have a set of books that remains in the room. You'll have a textbook to take home and leave at home, so you will not need to bring that with you. That will stay at home during the course of the year. And you are, of course, responsible for both the home copy and the class copy. 
Other things that you might want to have with you in your pencil pouches, you might want to have a ruler, you might want to have a calculator, you might want to have colored pencils. But in the classroom, I do have rulers, and I do have calculators, and I do have colored pencils, so they're not required at this point. Next year in algebra, you will be required to have a graphing calculator, but that is a year in the future. We will be using Alex again this year. Alex is an online resource that helps improve math skills and, and lets you stretch your math abilities. You'll be required to complete one hour every week on Alex. You can do that in one chunk, or you can do it in 15-minute chunks or 10-minute chunks, as long as it's adding up to an hour each week. Uh, there's a separate tutorial on how to register for Alex itself. So suffice to say, that is part of the assignments, and that is part of this week's initial distance learning assignment. Now, math teachers all over the world love to say this, and so I will repeat their words of wisdom. Mathematics is not a spectator sport. You have to work to improve. It's like playing a game. It's like playing a musical instrument. It's like anything. In order to get better at it, you need to do it over and over and over and over and over again. That's the only way to success in math. Your grades in class will be, uh, will be determined by tests, projects, quizzes, in class and out of class assignments and homework and your Alex. The grades will be weighted according to the type of assignment they are. The math department grading weights give tests and project 45% of your overall score, quizzes 25, class and homework 25, and Alex 5%. At the end of the year, the second semester, just looking ahead, 10% of your overall second semester grade will be made up of your semester exam. So just be prepared for that. Obviously, there are behavioral expectations, the idea that ASB and middle school campus rules are going to be followed. The main one of those is the idea of respect. If you respect yourself, you respect others, you respect your teacher, you respect to the materials in the school, you should be fine. Don't do anything to them that you wouldn't want done to you. Obviously, the idea is that while we work together, you are learning on your own. So in a situation where you are not supposed to be using other people's work, cheating or plagiarizing from them will result in a zero on that assignment, a note to the principal, and possibly a meeting with him, and a phone call home. So do your own work. Uh, when people are talking, with that includes me or others, give them quiet and courtesy. If there are, continues to be an issue after a gentle warning with inappropriate behavior, then don't be surprised at all if you are invited to come spend break and or lunch with me. Yes, detentions will be assigned. And of course, you should always, always, always bring your homework and all your materials to class. Okay, I have listed here a number of websites that will give you some help and extra practice. One of the most important of those is Hot Math. Hot Math is the textbook web page where for selected problems they show you how to work them out. It's a great place to go when you are stuck on something and you need a little extra help. The ASB portal, that's the best place to go in terms of having a lot of resources. As the year goes by, there will be more and more resources added here. There are already some links that I've put up for you. Go ahead and check those out. And I certainly look forward to a great year in pre-algebra with you. Thanks. And now we'll turn off the recording.